ladies and gentlemen, I'm truly honored to be able to speak to and listen to some of the people here that I hope to be working side by side with as your mayor. I am just excited about the power of creativity that resides within you. I've spent time in the United States and British Virgin Islands. They don't have a water system. They don't have a sewer system. They've done extremely well for hundreds of years using the side of creativity that we don't even think of here. We have to have pipes running underground. They use cisterns and water treatment that is just not in the United States. We need to open our minds and use this creativity to solve many of the problems, and it's the people in this room that are going to help me do that. A little story I want to tell you. I got a call about 16 years ago from the wife of one of my store managers in tears. I said, Betty, what's the problem? He said, she said, Scott, George is going to die. I said, what do you mean he's going to die? He's been diagnosed by some of the best doctors in Manatee County, and he has an incurable skin disease that's going to kill him. I said, Betty, wait a minute. Have you looked anywhere else? Any other consultations? We've done what we can. And I said, what about outside of the year? I said, she said, we can't afford that. I said, don't you worry about that. I said, let me speak to George. I got to George. George, can you ride in the car? He said, yes. He says, tomorrow you're going up to the Mayo Clinic in Jacksonville, Florida. I called one of my salesmen who loves to travel by car, and I said, would you, would you take George up to the Mayo? He said, sure, we didn't have an appointment. George went up to the Mayo Clinic. We finagled little things with a friendly doctor, got him in, took two days he was diagnosed. There is a cure to his problem. The cure, unfortunately, is at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. We got him to drive up to, with one of my people, to up to Rochester. He spent a week there in an unbelievably awful treatment, and he survived. He and his wife were raising their granddaughters uh, because their children were addled with, uh, with uh, drug addiction. Long story short, it sent a message to all of my people, and it's a message I want to give to you. People count. You count. No one is too small to have a standing in this community with me as mayor. I look forward to leading us to greater prosperity within any budget situation in the future. Thank you for listening. Yeah.